Hello everybody, it's been a long time. Welcome to Survival Russia again. Been extremely busy with work, not gonna bore you with that. And uh, no, we're not out hunting today. Hunting season is over, but I'm out here testing some kit I've got, some new kit, including this uh, chest rig or smurf be knives and this and this and that. I had some requests from people about knives and sharpening and uh, coincidentally, for real actually, I got sent two very very cool knives from uh, the States from a very very nice US Marine called Freeman Long Hunter. Hello Aaron, thank you very much. But uh, hang on and uh, let's get on with the program here. So I don't have a ton of knives. Uh, but the ones I have, I use all of them. So uh, I brought five with me today. Anyway, to all this knife talk that's always going on, uh, I like to give my two cents on uh, what's a good knife for survival or being in the bush or what you can say. And uh, I also want to say something about what kind of knife I definitively not think is a survival knife. Of course, survival knife will always be the knife you have. <laughs> so here we have the knives, BK2, two handmade knives, two scanty ground knives. This is a real steel, this is a more a bushcraft survival, whatever that means. The first up here, the BK2, not much to say about that. It's like a all over awesome workhorse. Thick blade, heavy blade. I took off the coating of the blade because it's too rough and uh, all sorts of weird stuff got st stuck in it. Chaga and food remains and whatnot. But it's generally a very good knife. Many people think it's too heavy to carry, but uh, I got used to it and uh, I just treat the blade with uh, some vegetable oil of, and uh, it seems to work fine. Next up I want to talk a little bit about the Scandi grind knives because I think that uh, especially the Moras and so on I think they are a little bit overrated, let's just say it like that. I mean the Scandi grind knives, they're very nice. I'll put in some footage here from the window where I try and demonstrate the difference between for example the BK2 and this real steel bushcraft. You see, they look really funky. And it's like skidding on the surface in some weird way. And if you take a scandy grind here, it's a whole different game. Scandi grind knives, they're very good at digging into wood and so on, and for lighter tasks. But uh, survival knives, in my opinion, they are definitely not. I don't know if it goes on the cam, but much of the edge on this mora have rolled over. As you might be able to see. If you cannot see it, take my word for it. And this is, a, in my opinion, a problem. As soon as you start using a Scandi grind knife for anything else, then lighter tasks i mean opening cans and so on they don't simply don't like it so there's too much work involved into removing all this material from the flat grind here from the flat flat scandy grind too much work involved <coughs> for a survival knife i mean the, it's very difficult if you don't have a sharpening device a normal v grind knife with a primary edge or bevel or what the hell you call it it can be sharpened on many things, not so much uh, uh, a scanty grind knife. So these two knives here goes a very, very, in my opinion, very neat story. I had a minor disagreement with a with a guy on uh, on YouTube about a celebrity survivalist or bushcraft or what we can call it, and. Uh, Without going into further details about that, we uh, we sort of became friends anyway. And he said, to me, "Hey, I'm not a businessman. I'm not a salesman. Uh, I only make a few knives a year, and so on." And uh, he would like to make me a knife. So what we came up with was this.
made from a uh, file and uh, it's a very very awesome knife very nice handle I think it's a uh, was it American walnut or hickory I don't remember at the point one of the really cool things about this knife is that he made this leather patch on the back for wearing on a belt and there's, there's no commercial interest in this or anything but this is just a freaking awesome way to carry a knife it rides high it's nice big and flat so hip belt and so on will not get too much in the way and uh, I use this I carry this every day at the moment just to test it out and uh, this leather thing here works awesomely you almost I almost don't notice that I'm wearing it simple recycled materials you can say such a knife here I mean I don't really need that much more <laughs> we have the little skinner here I carry it uh, like this it's made from a horse rasp birch handle with some small studs in it a lanyard hole and uh, this is a razor scary sharp and it's a really good skinner so uh, yeah this will this will definitely be my secondary knife Let's take a look at the sharpenings because I had many questions about that so here's what I most of the time use for sharpening double stone here like coarse and fine this is very fine actually a Lansky diamond rod well used and this workshop field sharpener on both the coarse and the fine stone they have a 20 degree guides as you can see you can change out these plates here they have a strop ceramic rod another little ceramic rod the ceramic rod you can turn around boom 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 for serrations of different sizes and uh, fish hooks and whatnot. Oh, yeah, the flat side is what I use the most. It's also 20 degree guides here. I always uh, sharpen by hand, not that it makes me some big sharpening uh, expert or something like this, but just need a bit of training. Now I get to the angle, it's like I guess it says here, it's like 90 degrees. This is like 45 or 40 degrees, and down here must be roughly 20. So you get just a cheap knife and see if you can reproduce this edge in a what you can say a steady way that is very visible if you can't and if you can you can even paint the little edge here with some black marker or whatever and you'll be able to see how we do it blah, 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 blah. To shortly just demonstrate how this uh, field sharpener works because this is a good tip in my opinion it's really nice you just lean the knife up against the edge here or against the guide then you just break it through and then you turn it give it a little bit on the fine stone of course still need a little bit of, of motor skills to keep the 20 degree angle all the way out here and so on but I think also this the uh, field sharpener from workshop is a good way to 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 learn to get the angle into the wrist so to speak so when you're done on the two sides you go here to the to the ceramic side or ceramic rod so please check the links and thank you for your time go and check me out on facebook and like survival russia on facebook there's also on facebook the Things are going on when I don't have time for making videos and uh, so if you're interested in what's going on Survival Russia on Facebook, the link will be in the description. See you next time here in Russia guys!